folks, what's going on? We're in Maine. We're ice fishing for the next. Oh my god. Hey, oh my. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the front door of our off the grid cabin. I mean, you just got ice and snow. It's my first time ever seeing snow. It blows my mind for the next five days. We're staying in this cabin on the lake, which is right there. It looks like snow, but I'm about to go show you guys that there's 80 foot of ice water, about 20 foot off of the back of this house. Being a Florida boy my whole life, I never thought I would be put into a situation like this, but it has to be amped for the potential that we have. This is the furthest away I've been from civilization, the furthest I've ever been in the wilderness before. And I'm so excited to catch my first big fish through the ice hopefully today. So welcome to the front door of our home for the next five days. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, welcome to home. Nothing around us, nothing to do besides just get out there, go on the ice, go fishing and chase trophies. And who's gonna help us with that today? The most experienced ice fisherman I've ever met, also the only ice fisherman I've ever met. Yeah, Becca knows nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what, Becca, I didn't mean it like that. You we poke out for so long, <laughs> we're here now. Okay, we're Riley back. and I got the two best ice fishermen with me. <laughs> We know who's really the best. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys saw Riley maybe in the first one where I fell through the ice. What's the plan today, man? All right, so the plan today is we're gonna have all of us hop into one of the wooden shacks I've got. I got one on shore and one out deep on the lake. And we're all gonna hop into the shack and basically ride in a heated shack across the lake. It's a pretty cool experience, not something many people get to do. So what happens if you if the ice shack flips while you're driving? Um, on so the it's sled? basically like a rollover accident in a car, but it's an ice shack that will crumble upon you. We're dressed and ready to go. So here's the back door and right in front of us. Right on our feet. This is the, the lake line right there. And it looks like you got a little something special for us out there that we're going to oh, be fishing yeah. out of today. We got a little ice house ready for a cool ride. Oh, sweet. So guys, I guess this is what we're going to be fishing out of today is this. One of them. We got two. Dude, this is so cool. You wait till you see the other one. I can't wait to see your reaction. There's another one? The other yeah. One like ten times better. two miles out that way. We're going to go take a sled ride there. This one's cool, but that one's like a mansion compared to this one. <laughs> Look at this a little little fish in the window, a little piranha. I thought you just kind of drilled a hole and sat there in like a lawn chair. I've seen some like ice fishing tents before. I've never seen an ice fishing hut and I think it's just my ignorance on the subject. But what I think is special about this one is Riley handmade this thing himself. So we're going to talk to Riley about how he did this. Can I come in? Welcome. <laughs> well here is the the inside of the hut, I mean, it can fit the three of us pretty comfortably. You have chairs in here, a candle. This shack don't as smell nice as the other one. All right, so Riley, you made this thing yeah. from hand. So you yeah. didn't so buy it as nope, is. This is fully DIY, hand built. This is the first shack I ever made. I built it with my dad. It's solid. So now this shack heats up really nice. I love this shack, but I always wanted a bigger shack. So further out on the lake where we'll be headed, I've got a much bigger shack that's fully furnished on the inside. The other shack is two miles away from here, yeah. right? Well, first off, I have to ask you, yeah. why are there handcuffs in here? That's uh, <laughs> don't worry about it, don't worry about it. <laughs> it moves oh. so easy. <laughs> I went to loop this around to be closer to shore and it slides too well because of that Teflon and it started swinging side to side. That's a good way to have the shack roll over with you guys in there. Now that may be good content, but it's not the best <laughs> at the end of the day when my shack's in four pieces. <laughs> so I can directly attach this to this, it won't be able to swing around. You can actually see where I've rear-ended myself with that before. <laughs> I'm going to take this two by four that I ripped in half. I'm gonna screw it to the wall and okay. then use these two straps, cinch it down tightly to the directly the back bar on the snowmobile. And are we riding in? You're riding in there. <laughs> oh, With no. heat, you guys are getting like the full luxury experience. And that um, gave it a little bit of extra drag and made her spin around.
I was nauseous. Like I thought, Norm and I looked at each other and we're like, we're gonna throw up. Are we here? Oh, we're here. Dude, I Oh yeah, oh whoa, I look down, I am, I'm like seasick, like when I go deep sea fishing. No, like that was an intense, <laughs> that was intense two miles, but that's what happens up in Maine. Like this is literally the Maine life. Have you, you know, seen that mountain? It looks oh like. Oh my God, it looks beautiful today. All right, I'm ready to go throw up and catch some fish. <laughs> I would have rather walked, honestly. <laughs> no. <laughs> we interrupt today's video to bring you guys today's video sponsor, Bosley. So guys, if you're suffering from hair loss, take some advice from Bosley, the number one hair restoration experts. If your hair looks like mine, you're probably good. I mean, come on, we got solid lines up here. Your boy's faded out. But if you look anything like my friends, Lojo, AO, Devin, Yakpack, just to name a few, there's reasons they wear bandanas like Yakpack. There's reasons they wear hats. It's because they don't use Bosley. This was me before Bosley. And this is me now. It's my natural hair. It's never gonna look like that again. The sooner you take action, the more options you'll have for keeping and growing your hair back. Bosley has both surgical and non-surgical solutions to keep your hair and grow it back where you need it most. Take it from me, you don't wanna wait. Go ahead and learn the information to keep or grow your hair. They have the most professionals and experience, and trust me guys, experience does matter. The sooner you take action, the more options you're gonna have. So learn how to get a fuller, thicker head of hair by going to bosley.com slash norm or click the link down below to get your free information kit and a $250 gift card who does not like free money. So just in case you didn't hear it the first time, that's bosley.com slash norm. You guys go ahead and get your free cost estimate and find the solution that's gonna work best for you. But without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get back to the video. Thank you for Bosley for sponsoring today's video. And uh, go ahead, take action now. Fix your hair it's time to take control thank you to bosley and without further ado let's go ahead and get back to the video held up 90 mile an hour winds during another storm. The wind just blew your whole hut over? was so strong, there was a gust that broke the piece of wood in half that was holding the strap down. So I think these blocks are what was holding it in. And I, there's 90 mile an hour winds since the last time he's been out here. So it completely broke the wood in half that was holding this thing in place. So it's all leaning over. Ice fishing is serious, serious business. All right, ready? Yep. Yeah. One, two, three. Let's go! So that's good, that's what we needed? Yeah, now we just gotta push it like 15 feet over. Okay. Which is easy. Yep. Oh! You fall? <laughs> oh! I have the best view for that! Ow! Oh! I miss Florida, dude, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> on the inside. Upgrade, huh? Holy cow. This looks like my apartment if it was nice. <laughs> All right, so we have three holes here, so we can just chill here, even have like a little... I'm, I, call, I call that seat. Dang it. Sorry. That looks so comfy. We also, we cuddle a lot in here. Um, you know, the, the boys and I are close. <laughs> All right, so we got three spots for holes in the ice hut, so we're gonna drill the holes y yeah. in the holes. You got this, dude. A little nervous, huh? He has no idea how deep it is, and you're gonna have to get like on your knees at one point. But we're gonna set the mood for the lake trout. It really kind of gets them going. They love the strawberry dandelion. Let me tell you. It also makes it smell less like. I'm gonna be honest, anything that came to my mind right then was not suitable for YouTube. <laughs> Alright, so here's a little lure I'm throwing, guys. Just a little swim bait. A little jig head. Damn, we're dropping it down. We look at this, and this tells us if there's fish or not. A little fish finder. And since we haven't caught anything yet to eat, because we're really hungry, we've been busting down on some Lay's flavored chili limon, which is like lemon and lime and the slim gyms are almost gone so we need to catch something soon we just haven't been marking all too much either <sighs> my first 
mega fish through the ice are bigger than a two inch perch is making us work for them. Dude, that's a massive mark. It's taking up like an entire 10, like the 16 below mark. And look, he looks like he's about to leave you. Yeah, he's leaving. Hmm. I, don't, I don't think we're going to catch it. There's a higher chance. We'll give it five more minutes, and if it, we don't see it or it doesn't do anything, then we'll move. Because well, it's, it, it's left. It's gone. All right, so it is, um, what is it, 4 p.m. now? Yeah, just about a little after 4. We started all the way in the morning, have uh, marked two fish all day. So we're going to make a last-ditch effort and go seven miles down the lake. There's another hole there, but it's so windy out right now. The wind is picked up that if we brought these, there's a good chance they could tip over. We could all get injured. We're about to pack up just like a very few amount of things out of here. It's a great ice fishing spot. The fish just did not play today because they hate me. Try the last hole before the sun goes down. Hopefully, catch something. Oh, it's already rigged. I'm already rigged and ready, unless I have to throw something different. Um, oh, do I have to throw little tiny things? You have to put bacon on it. Bacon? They're, they're like catfish. We're fishing with bacon? Yeah, moldy bacon that's like a month or two old. Oh. Uh, you want to eat it, bro? No, I was going to say, can I have a piece too, but not anymore. It took us a while to set up everything. A little bit longer than expected, but we are in the tent. Bourbon? No. Bourbon, yeah. Bourbon? Bourbon. Uh, Riley went and got live bait, so we're gonna do tip-ups, which I've never done before, so we're gonna set those up all around the tent, but the closest bait store is like 45 minutes away, so Becca and I, instead of all of us going to go get live bait, we decided we turned a jig for these burbits, right? We're using, like, bacon. Oh. On the swim bait? And then, do you guys know this stuff? Hold on. Have you ever- Oh, I, I have seen that. Yeah, this stuff for burbit fishing, uh, I heard is the, the sauce. It's not too bad in here with this heater, and that will burn holes in your pants. Three ice holes drilled out right here. A little fish finder, even though they hang out on the bottom, they're hard to see. And uh, this tent is keeping us nice and warm, so the setup's pretty cool. Ewy. <laughs> Ew, Norm. <laughs> that is nasty. All right, I'm gonna put my little burby boy right there. Or that's not, that's a swim bait. All right. All right. What is that? What is that? That's you. Is it what? <gasps> oh my God. You called 911? Yeah. This is what you get for showing off, folks. <laughs> oh, that is. Oh, shit. I'm gonna grab my metal shovel. That's slightly worse than I thought. Now there's a hard packed piece of snow in between the tire and the road. Only one tire, but that's making it so I can't back out. So I'm gonna take the shovel, dig that icy snow out of the way. Dude, I just, oh my god. I thought you were trying to prank me. No, I swear to God, I didn't mean to. I've never done that. Are they gonna come? Oh my god. Yeah, answer it, answer it. I, I would just say call them back and say, hey, I accidentally called because they could send somebody out. It's happened to me before. I accidentally, like, emergency dialed them. So when I just called 911? Yeah, I just called 911 and say, hey, I accidentally called. I'm okay. Because then they'll come out and they'll come out and check. This is so awkward. Hi, sorry. I just accidentally uh, did that iPhone thing where it calls 911 and I just wanted to report that like nothing was wrong. It, it, I didn't mean to press it. the part where I normally say don't tell anyone about this. Okay, that's alright. Um, we didn't get a call. Can you just verify some information? 
information for me? Yeah, I got you. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, well, we're actually ice fishing in the middle of the lake, but I can give you the lake name. Okay, yeah. Okay, and you don't need police fire, or are you bad? Uh, no, I, I don't need anything. I, I'm so sorry. Okay. Do you have any luck fishing? Uh, no, man. Do you know what burbot are? No, I don't. Well, I, I recommend looking them up because they're creepy looking, but we're night fishing for them, and they like, they're, they're, they're gross, but they taste good, so we're trying to catch a couple <laughs> and eat them. <laughs> Yeah, but it, well, no, no luck yet. Luck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Sorry about that. All right, no problem. Thanks for calling back. Yeah, have a good one. Bye. Yeah, you too. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. He was so cool. Oh, yeah. Thank you, man. You awesome. too. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good night. You too. Do you want to move the shaft? We have to because I'm going crazy. Today is day two of our main fishing trip and uh, the snow has come down a ton and since the first day we got here it is currently snowing and there's supposed to be a massive blizzard tonight with about 10 to 12 inches of snow. So we are going to be doing ice camping for 24 hours, but we're not doing it on the lake we've been fishing recently. We are actually headed an extra three hours north away from civilization. So we're headed up to way northern Maine up in the St. John Valley, and we're gonna be fishing a super remote lake with some big smallmouth largies and some white perch and other stuff. Now, it is going to be about 80 miles out of Millinocket, and it is all dirt roads. It's insanely remote. It's the kind of thing where if anything happens, you are screwed. You need to be self-sufficient and prepared because if anything goes wrong, nobody is there to help you except yourself. And tonight it's supposed to be negative 20, but a true feel of negative 30. So in combination with all the wind, this is going to be the coldest weather I've ever been in. And we're going to spend all 24 hours from the time we get there until the next day, do some overnight camping, try to do a little bit of ice fishing, maybe a little bit of exploring the mountains and stuff. And, uh, we got a four hour road trip ahead of us. Let's go ahead and get started packing. We made it to Northern North Main. We're already in North Main. We, we just went drove four hours more north. We're here and this is what we wanted to do was overnight camping. So we're gonna start. Uh, we got like a couple hours before this blizzard comes through and it gets really, really, really cold tonight. So we gotta unload the truck. We have snowmobiles, a ton of stuff to keep us warm, a ton of fishing gear to set up uh, to try to catch some food tonight. Uh, Riley, you about ready to send her? Oh, you got the compass. Mm -hmm. Is that how we're navigating where we're going? Yeah. The compass? Oh, oh yeah. my God. <laughs> I mean, I guess there is no real good way to see it. Thanks. Bye, Becca. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Later. See ya. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. The next 24 hours are going to be nuts. Guys, we're checking Google Maps to see where on the lake we are. It's pitch black out here. Oh, we wanted to get here before the sun went down, but it was such a far drive. So we're kind of just out here and it looks like, we're, it looks like we're kind of there. We're trying to go to that point. It's hard to tell where you're going when it's just dark outside. So what, are you gonna unload? You're gonna leave me here, then you're gonna go back? Cool. <laughs> All right, so just start unloading everything. All right, guys. Got all the gear out here to the spot. So while you're gone, you want me to shovel everything? Yeah, I'm gonna make a little spot so I can dump some stuff and not move it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that caught me so off guard. <laughs> Just dump the rods and everything out right here. I mean, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Guys, that light all the way in the distance is our truck. And if you look on the bank everywhere else, there is nothing out here besides us. I just did a whole 360 and here's the light again. <laughs> we are literally, dude, it's just us. Yeah, All we, right, so is this the last I see you? You're uh, you're leaving me? Yep, I'll be gone in about two minutes and then I'll be back in 15. I'll see you later. <laughs> Peace. All right. Well guys, Raleigh's gonna head all the way back. But for now, 
it's just me out here and I hope he can refine me, <laughs> but I think he'll be able to, I'll wave him down with my flashlight. But my job now, I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up camp, that way when they get here, life is a lot easier, so. This whole square area that we dug out in the snow, I have to shovel all of that until it's solid ice, that way it makes it easier to drill holes, uh, we can stay warmer on solid ice to set up our, uh, our tent. So where these lines are is literally going to be the corners of our tent where we're going to be camping tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to set up my camera and start shoveling. All right, folks, check this out. I made our whole entire square. It's kind of hard to tell on the camera, but I mean, there's like a mound of snow right here. And this is just straight up ice. And that's where our tent is. Is gonna be going. I knew this was gonna be like remote, but I figured, you know, maybe there'd be another group out here or something, but it's literally just us, no other lights, no light pollution. I don't even think anybody lives out here. But the square is done. I just gotta wait on the rest of the gang to get here before I can set up because I have no clue how to properly set up a ice camp. So I'm just gonna chill here and wait, but it's super cool just to be out here. It is more remote than I thought. I knew we were gonna be three hours away from civilization. But when you're out here and you like really see it, there, well, there's nothing to see because there's no lights, no nothing. It's just darkness and it goes forever. But it is really cool because you can see a ton of the stars. It's just really cool. I hope they come back soon though because I'm getting cold. I want to get this camp set up as soon as possible. Tent has been set up. We've laid a layer of ice or snow all the way around the tent just to pack her down. I got our ratchet strap to canoes with heavy weight and our snowmobile. So this tent should be stuck in place, but let's take a look inside our home for the next 24 hours. Oh my goodness. This is almost more spacious, like not as tall, but more spacious than your actual like ice hut. Uh, no, this yeah. is way more square footage. Uh, this tarp's smaller than I thought, but it's such nice ice that I don't really think we'll need a tarp over everything. We'll just have the heater on this end. Okay. Where do sleeping bags go? Uh, on we'll the cot. Both cots all along here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is so much warmer in here already. Like as soon as I walked in. Because of wind. Yeah, no wind. It makes the worlds a difference. We're setting up my bed for the night. Uh, we got a cot, and then we have thermal sleeping bags that are rated for negative 30 degree weather. I don't think we're gonna drill holes tonight. We're gonna get ready to go to bed. Uh, get a good night's rest because we're gonna be out here for the next 24 hours. Get some sleep, crack of dawn, go set some tip ups, go drill holes into the ice. Because if we do it tonight and we wake up, our whole tank could be flooded. So, it's, it's really uh, what I've noticed is with ice fishing and especially ice camping, when you get one of these things, if cold air or wind can find its way in, it will. So, you have to cover the top, the middle, and the bottom to make sure that you stay warm. That's exactly what we're doing. Good morning, folks. I don't know how long everybody else has been awake for, but I, uh, I kept on waking up and like shaking last night. And I guess we just figured out that we didn't pack the snow around the tent correctly. So like cold air was getting in. I was kind of wondering why like ice was forming on the inside of the tent when we had a heater in here. But yeah, I'm sore a little bit from the sleep. It took me forever to cut. Everything was warm besides my face. So it kept waking me up. Let's see what this looks like in the daylight. Cause I haven't even seen this place when it's light outside. Oh, good morning, Riley. Good morning. How's the morning been? Pretty good, we got out early, we set some traps. You guys might be wondering where Becca is too. Becca was feeling the same way all of us were and we drove her back to camp, but she was a trooper. That was a, that was a tough night. Our goal now, I gotta catch up and through the ice. 24 hour challenge, we got like seven and a half hours left, which feels so weird to me because I've slept the whole time. <laughs> but we got a lot to do in the next seven and a half hours. Catching some fish, maybe playing some Uno. I gotta set up some stuff and try to catch a big fish through the ice. Hopefully some uh, some lunch and dinner. I would love to break the curse today. I've been up north like probably three, four times trying to catch a small mouth or just something besides a large mouth. I have yet to catch any like northern species. Today's our last day too, so we gotta make something happen for me. I'm confident now. We got tip ups going up, we just gotta get one hooked. So we're about to set up my first tip up ever. Yeah. This is Keegan, which is Riley's friend. And what I've noticed is everybody out here is so nice. So like, I just walked out of the tent super sleepy and you're just smiling away. You want to run us through what the heck to do? Yeah, first thing you want to do is just clear off the snow because otherwise you're going to have a bunch of more slush in your hole. And after we'll that, come. you're going to grab your auger. Have you run that yet? Yeah, I have run the auger. OK, 
Okay, you bring it all the way up to that knot, and that's how you know you're a foot above. And then you just drop it in the hole. And there's a bunch of different style of traps. Each one yeah. has a different mechanism to set it off. But with these, you just slide it right in that knot and that little bar gets pushed when that spool spins and then it sets a flag off. Simple enough, kind of. And like, uh, once you get the method down, it's not as tough as you would think it was from somebody who's never done it before. We're gonna get back at normal a little bit for sleeping in so long. Yeah, what's the best bait to catch a norm on? I'd say probably a Red Bull, maybe a touch of Monster. Really gotta get him hooked. So I'm gonna thread my line through the can, to the lid of it. Once that's all the way through, I'm gonna hook it back into the Monster can and pull it tight, and now there's no way that they can go anywhere. Now I basically will drop it down, drop the sinker down a little bit, and let them do their thing. Let me just feel this. It feels dead on like a fish. The way the cans hit the water, they spin, and it really feels like you have something. Now normally, I would put the flag down, but we need to bait them in a little bit, so just putting a flag on. There's a big shiner on this one? Yeah. Right in front of camp? Yeah. Oh, that's not. Um, oh, yeah, there's some on there. Oh. There's some on there. Let's go. No. Yes. Yo. Yes. Dude, this feels bigger than my last really? fish. Yes. He doesn't feel like massive, but uh, it's definitely it there's a little bit more weight on there. Yo, how what is it? <laughs> <laughs> I hate you guys so much. <laughs> I just saw the monster logo and I was like, gosh, we dang said it. bait and it wasn't for a fish. <laughs> I felt the weight. I was like, he's I not know. moving. I was like, he's not fighting, but it's heavy. Gosh, dang it, Riley. <laughs> you dirty dog. Oh, got a flag. Wait, for real? Yeah, right by the tent. Should we go get it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a tip up. This could be my first fish of the trip. More lunch, more dinner. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He's, yeah, he's on there. I see the line moving. Is he? Yeah, 100%. All right, so I just pull up kind of. Yep, as soon as you feel the weight, just start pulling. All right, you ready? No. Oh yeah, I feel him. It's something tiny. Wait, he might not even be there anymore. Oh, he's on. Something small. Come on. <laughs> there we go. We did it. I caught something. It's what really is it? This is the white perch? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, two days later, we have landed ourselves my first fish through the ice, a white perch. The fishing was tough, but everything else was absolutely awesome. Thanks to Becca. She has a YouTube channel. She'll be linked down below. And also thanks to Riley. Riley, you have a YouTube channel. Yeah, I sure do. Back with angling. They'll be both linked down below and all these. But thank you guys for helping me with my first ever ice fishing experience. It was fun. It was an honor. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, until the next fishing adventure, fish bump. I'm out of here. Screw it. The compass just for looks. Oh, how you're still recording. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, I know why. I know where I'm going. I'll go that way. It will. We don't have an actual fish whistle, so we gotta do something, some kind of dish. Can I moan? That'll get the fish yeah, going. that'll get the fish going. Uh, <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. It was about your time you did that this trip. I've done it 10 ah, times. I'm the Are only one that hasn't going? fallen. <laughs> and of course it's when I look like this. <laughs> In your face, Becca. Eat that snow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>